this all comes together. This is all leading to something, and this is the big end game. You're going to learn how to customize your own training routines. After you have trained and, and understand those onsets, and you've trained and understand those vowels, and you take a look at the big comprehensive vocal training program that you have with the 62 workouts, you're going to put them all together to develop integrated training routines. So you've got your onsets plus your vowels plus the training content that comes with the course. And when we put those three elements together, when we plug them together, they become integrated training routines, right? So in the first time, first time in the history of teaching students how to train and become better singers, what we have done is we put together a methodology that enables you to build your own customized vocal training workouts, your own customized vocal training routines that you can use to go after your own unique problems, okay? Because each one of these onsets on the far left has their own features, advantages, and benefits. They, it's all explained in the course. It's in the book. It'll, it'll explain to you what, you know, what they can do for you. And when you know that, and then you do the same work and the same study on these vowels, so now you plug in an onset to a vowel, and then you choose a training routine, you put them all together, you're integrating onsets with vowels and workouts. And unlike other training courses where you're just sort of going nay, 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 or ga, 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 and you're just, you're just you're making some kind of vocal sound over a scale, but you really don't know anything about onsets. You don't know why you're doing an N or a G. You don't know why it's a ga or a ga and not a goo. Or, I mean, there's no training or any education about the vowels. That's, that's the long way home. That's, that's, that's the detour route. You're, you're going to struggle with that. As my student, as somebody who is, who is skilled in this methodology, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to be training scales that have intelligence behind them. They're going to be smart. You're going to be smart about what you're doing because you're going to understand these onsets and these vowels and you're going to be able to pick through all this lovely content to train with. So we don't just do vocal workouts at TBS. We do integrated training routines. That's different. Now, here's an example of what an integrated training routine can look like. We have an XY intercept graph. And as you can see, um, we have frequency on the left and the vowel modifying on the bottom with the X axis. What we have here is a training routine. You'll see that the dotted line in the middle represents the vocal break or the passaggio, okay? You'll see at the bottom right, excuse me, the bottom left corner, we're choosing to use the edging vowel A, okay? And we're going to do a track and release onset, okay? And at the top, we're gonna modify from A into A. Okay, the singing vowel, a. Ah. So the, we're going to start with the sound color, a, and we're going to modify into a. Ah. And coming off the top, back down, we'll be doing another track and release onset, or an onset that starts with a nasal. And by the way, in the middle, near the X, with the dotted line representing the vocal break, you'll see that the workout that we're going to do is a melodic fifth siren. Okay. So this is an integrated training routine for bridging and connecting or, you know, learning to build the motor skills from your chest voice to your head voice. All right. So this is integrated training routine. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. We're going to do a melodic fifth siren. This is the kind of content that's inside the program. And we're going to train a track and release onset at the bottom. And we're going to do a melodic fifth siren, which just means a slide. And at the top, we'll come back down with another track and release onset. Let me show you how it goes. It'll make sense as soon as you hear it. All right. Okay, that's a harmonic fifth. That's a melodic fifth. All right. So, me, me, 
All right, that is the workout that you're looking at. I just performed it for you, okay? And if you do that on every single note on the keyboard, going up and going back down, you will build the coordination for bridging and connecting in the shortest amount of time. Let's take a look at another one. Here's an integrated training routine for register bridging and head voice placement or getting good placement in the head voice. We're gonna do another track and release onset at the bottom into the vowel A, and we're gonna do a wind and release onset off the top um, into the vowel A, uh, which happens to be a nice combination for finding good placement in the head voice. And to keep things simple, we'll go ahead and keep it as a melodic fifth siren. You see how I put that together? I didn't just do a vocal workout. I actually had some intelligence and strategy behind my workout. I, I There was a reason why I chose to do A into A, uh, and there was a reason why I chose to do track and release and win and release, okay? These have all been worked out. I've done all the heavy lifting for you guys. All you guys gotta do is just follow these patterns. Here's one more example. This is a good routine for belting. This builds chestiness, boominess in the head voice. What we have is we have, again, another melodic fifth siren, okay? Now, there's, 62 different workouts. So it's not always a melodic fist siren, but just keeping it simple for this presentation. We have a, another melodic fist siren, but at the bottom, this time we're going to do a dampen and release onset, which is a plosive into ah, and we're going to modify that into ah. Actually, we're just going to, there may be some passive modification of the color. It'll change a little bit because we're moving up in frequency, but for the most part, it will remain very ah ish. And off the top, we're going to uh, enter with a vowel or an attack and release onset. Here's how this goes. Beep. See, I started with a B. That's a dampen and release onset. Great for larynx dampening and belt training. Beep. Oh, I messed up my vowel, didn't I? It should be an A. Ah. Here we go. And ba. Now, in with a vowel. Ah. One more time. Ah. That is a routine that's designed for belting in the head voice. That will make you strong and boomy. You'll bridge, through the, you'll bridge and connect through the vocal break, and you'll make your head voice sound huge. Okay? And this is just three routines out of actually 13 routines that are available to you guys. All right. I just mentioned routines that are available to you. We're actually looking at the training routine, the integrated training routine lessons in the course. This is a screenshot from the course. And although I encourage you to get really good at this so that you can build your own customized routines, with your own combination of onsets and vowels, and I really want you to do that. If you do that, you're, you're being a really great student. But I have provided for you 13 proven best practice routines that I do every day in here in my studio with my students for the last 10 years. And these routines are the same routines that a lot of the certified instructors use as well. Okay, so you can be explorative and be creative and create your own routines. I hope you will, but if you don't want to, don't want to be bothered with that, that's fine. Um, I provided for you, frankly, all the routines you really need to build your bridging and connecting skills. Okay, so be creative, do your own, or just follow what I've already put together for you right here in the program.